banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. It's classic game room time where I'm bringing you one of the best storyline-driven first-person shooters I've ever played. Think Bioshock meets Red Faction. It's Wolfenstein, the new order. You'll never have a Blue Monday playing this game. Prepare for non-stop action, carnage, mayhem, and praise during this review because Wolfenstein the New Order shows how to keep an audience hooked all the way through a first-person shooter. I couldn't put this game down. You'll have to see this through to the end. It just keeps getting better and better. And then you'll want to play it again. So what does this do right that so many games do wrong? Well, in short, everything. This is the PlayStation 4 version, which looks incredible. It plays really well, like a cross between an old school shooter like Return to Castle Wolfenstein and one of the newer sci-fi shooters like Bioshock. But I think what really makes it good is the non-stop intensity and desire to keep playing. It's such an ass-kicking game that feels like it was made with the single-player campaign in mind. It's not just tacked on to sell the game for 60 bucks with multiplayer. So I think it was important for the designers to pack it so full of stuff that you'd want to play it more than once, which I do. The environments are really well detailed and all the graphics are hilarious, which of course reminds me of games like Bioshock, so they're worth exploring and shooting up, of course. The music and the sound effects are top notch, but it doesn't sound as good as Killzone Shadowfall. The weapons could have used more base, but that's just a nitpick. So here's what's going on. BJ Blaskovich returns after a battle in 1946 where he suffers a head injury, only to awake in 1960 to a world controlled by the Nazis. And of course it's up to you to stop them, Wolfenstein has a little bit of everything for everyone. Non-stop action, suspense, and stealth as well as some romance, if you can call it that. You know, maybe it's the addition of BJ's girlfriend, Anya, or maybe it's just the style of the storytelling, but something about Wolfenstein The New Order reminds me of Half-Life 2. Which is, uh, you know, quite a compliment. There's other parts of the game that remind me of one of my favorites of all time, Red Faction. Shoot for the moon, or at least shoot at Earth from the moon. Wolfenstein also has a good sense of humor. In fact, you can even play a version of the original game hidden within this one. This is awesome on every level. The action's incredible, the directing is well done, the acting is extremely good and almost believable considering how unbelievable the game is. Near the end of the game, BJ Blaskovich can take more damage than a nano suit wearing a nano suit wearing an overshield. Honestly, it's it's worth it. This is the first must-have game I've played on the big new game systems in 2014. I have to actually think about what year it is. 1984. Still my favorite Van Halen album. So not only is Wolfenstein the new order worth playing, it's worth playing more than once. There's stuff hidden everywhere, lots of things to collect. After one playthrough, you'll want to increase the difficulty level, and there's even uh, two different guys you can save at the beginning, you'll see. It's a good game from start to finish, and you'll want to finish it the moment you start playing Wolfenstein The New Order. 
go let others know what you think at ClassicGameRoom.com. Leave your own CGR community review. But I think this is one of the best of the year. Any year, because it's that damn good.